In S turns across a road, the airplane makes semicircles of equal size on each side of a straight line on the ground. This line should be at a right angle to the wind. Roads, railroad tracks, or fence lines can be used. The maneuver starts at a right angle to the road. Over the road, a 180 degree turn is made to trace a uniform semicircle, completing the turn over the road with wings level at a right angle to the road. Then, a turn in the opposite direction is immediately started to trace an identical semicircle on the other side. This turn is finished when the airplane is again wings level over the road. As with all ground reference maneuvers, S turns across a road are flown at an altitude between 600 and 1,000 feet above the ground. So maintaining a constant altitude is as important as the ground track. The maneuver should be started downwind. This lets you adjust the size of the semicircle to keep from exceeding a 45 degree bank. If you enter upwind, and make the semicircle too small, you might have to exceed 45 degrees of bank to make the downwind semicircle the same size. As the airplane crosses the road, a turn is started. This is the steepest bank point, and the roll into the turn should be rapid. When the airplane heading changes from downwind to crosswind, bank is decreased as ground speed slows. At the midpoint of the semicircle, the airplane will have turned more than 90 degrees. This is because the airplane is crabbed into the wind to keep from enlarging the semicircle. The greatest crab is at the point where the airplane is directly crosswind. At the midpoint, pick the spot where you must cross the road to keep the semicircle uniform. From the midpoint on, bank and crab are decreased so that when crossing the road wings level, the airplane is headed at a right angle. Now, pick the spot where you want the airplane to be halfway around the upwind semicircle. The moment the road is crossed, start a turn in the opposite direction. With a direct headwind, the bank will be shallowest. When the wind changes from headwind to crosswind, the faster ground speed calls for steepening the bank. Halfway around the upwind semicircle, the airplane has turned less than 90 degrees and has the maximum crab into the wind. The distance from the road should be the same as on the downwind side. Pick the spot where you want to cross the road. As the wind becomes a tailwind, steepen the bank to finish the 180 degrees of turn over the road.